been crazy busy the last few weeks. Um, my son purchased a project house in uh, a neighboring city. He'll be he's a Coast Guard son. He'll be moving down in 30 days. Um, my wife and I have been trying to get it livable for them. Um, he's capable of doing the work himself, but when he leaves Elizabeth City, North Carolina, he'll be homeless and he'll have to move in that day. So we're doing some remedial work. I kind of forgot how much fun basic carpentry is. And the foundry has been busy, um, good and bad. We had a good pour and we had a bad pour, but you know, that's foundry work. And then have been doing some boat work. I've got the boat turned around. Hopefully you saw the video. I do have it now on the trailer and I'll have some, some video coming out on that. It's just not quite finished. Um, I started with the electrical work, got the battery set and I've just started ironing out in my head there's so many things going on with electrical it's uh it's just not far enough along i don't think to do a decent video but i do have good progress on this little console i'm making for the t-top so i'm going to do that video today it's not going to be finished by um thursday but it'll be pretty far along so hope you enjoy the video so once again, I'm using the white hardboard as a base to roll out some glass. Um, these two pieces have never been used and they're oiled and the two pieces are put together with some packing tape and um, cross my fingers that the stuff will come off. So I started out with a layer of chop, I put a layer of the fabric that I hate, put another layer of chop and another layer of the fabric I don't like. And when you try to roll out the air bubbles, in this fabric you have to push them all the way to the side it's like putting on a vinyl um, decal or something the air just won't go through this fabric and I had them all out let's come on came back but it's looking pretty good for the first uh, step in my new um, console I don't know what it's called up high storage and sticking was an odd problem it just fell off of the um, the white hardboard and the packing tape this is me wasting my time with some um, trying to make some templates to mark these curved uh, bows that hold up the roof. Um, problem is they're not the same. The one in the front has a little bit more of a curve. So I was trying to clamp these boards and get them level on the bottom and ascribe the curve, curve but uh, it was a waste of time and I ended up going a different route totally. I'm going to build a storage box to go under the t-top above the console pretty common thing um, I want it to fit the curve of the roof and unfortunately the curve of the roof varies because I managed to not bend those tubes exactly the same so what I'm gonna do is take this sheet of fiberglass that I made. It's still very, very thin, not nearly strong enough. But for now, I'm going to put it up there and jam it up against these curves. It'll be a compound curve and kind of build it in place. And then when it's all assembled, I'll take it down and glass the heck out of it because right now it's really, really thin and shaky. But I'm going to get it up there and brace it and cut the um, curve fronts and backs and sides to fit the glass in place. This is my last scrap of Devenacell. I'm going to try to get the front and the two sides out of this Devenacell where I can glue them into place and then take it down and fiberglass it down here in the shop. So the top of my storage box, I got it jammed up tight to the um, pipes here. So now I'm going to cut the front and try to glue it in place. Cut my first piece of foam. I got a 10 degree bevel on the bottom. I thought that would look good. Um, I have it centered <clears throat> on the rib here. I have the measurement between here and the dash the same on both sides. I can't use a level anymore because the boat's holding it. It's on the trailer. And then I scribe that arc. So I'm going to go cut that arc. And I can use the same setup I have right now to glue that on there. And I'll be able to glue it just like it is here using the spring clamps and that temporary board. When I go to do the sides, I'm going to have to reconfigure everything because the, the support boards are in the way. But at least I can get this front part on. And if I glue it with some 
I got some five minute epoxy, maybe it'll hold it together. So the front is in place. I ended up using uh, thickened polyester resin and I'll put a big old um, chamfer on the outside. And it's a little cool this morning, but it still should set within an hour so I can uh, rebrace this entire thing and cut and fit the sides. So that polyester set, and I'm in the process of moving the struts around. So now I have two verticals with one going this way. So I can remove these, which were in the way of putting up my side pieces. So I'm going to cut the side pieces and figure out a way to hold them up and, and do the same thing. Set them with some thickened polyester and just uh, set them in place to be glassed later. Okay, sides are cut and fit and I have a plan of action to hold them up there. I'll put another horizontal. Um, a little bit low so I can put a little wedge and I happen to have some wedges from left over from the um, foam and in the front um, I got a couple screws. I just barely got them started, but I'm gonna run them in when I get the pookie on there So um, They're obviously over long in the back. That's okay You can trim them and the front is over long on the sides and that's okay trim them after all the stuff gets hard and this thing gets rigid and I can take it down and go glass it in the shop. So the two sides are up there, kind of a challenging reach, but uh, they have enough thickened resin on them so that in a day or so I can get all these braces out the way and they'll stay put and then I'll just have to put the back and then the bottom I can do on the workbench because it should yeah once the back's on it's going to keep its shape so the bottom I can do on the workbench. So progress on the uh, T-top console. I just glued these two returns on with some uh, five minute epoxy. I want it just to hold so I can sand it to shape. And I cut the front corners and sanded them around. Now, a lot of the glass I put on already, I had to grind off and I kind of knew that because it was up there where I couldn't, the um, thickened polyester resin never really did the trick. I had to put glass up there and I couldn't push on it or it would move and I couldn't reach it so it was like a super crappy job but it did the trick it just gave me something to work from so even after grinding off all the nastiness I still have a rigid structure in which now I can lay some real glass um, I'll lay this these two back corners while I'm waiting for this to dry or cure and then I'll take these clamps off and round off these corners and then I can put a lot of glass on the outside and I'm going to need about an inch of flange here so all this glass will come down and curve out and then when I put the bottom on that glass will come over the bottom and tie into the side so it should have good strength from the from the mounting flange down the side and over the bottom it's upside down now so everything is upside down all right it's been a couple hours I've had four layers in this corner which means this flange it's four more layers thicker than it was. Um, I'm going to trim it because I can't really tell how thick it is. And I'm going to trim this mess and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of layers on the inside. I'm not so worried about the inside structurally. I just need some glass to cover it. And then I can I can round these um, corners and round this would be the top because it's upside down right now. And pretty much finished glass in it if I can. I can stick with it. So I got my glass work from this morning cleaned up. I got the edge trimmed up, looking much better. And I'm fixing to put two layers of glass on the interior and probably three around this opening here but for the opening I'm going to use this um, some six ounce wool and it's real soft it'll go around it and be pretty the rest of it doesn't need to be pretty it just needs a little glass on it and my little flange here is, is kind of iffy so uh, I clamped a, a, a little form board so the glass can run out a little bit and not drip all over the table and I didn't use um, my Thompson's water seal as a separator I used packing tape which 
I have a hundred percent success rate with and I'm not going to film putting the glass on because it's so monotonous I've done enough of that already so uh, I will turn you back on when I'm done okay except for the fact that it's hot in here and I wore my mask because I'm inside um, that went well I got two layers on these three sides which that may be it I don't know if I'm going to try to reach in here and tab the bottom when I put the bottom on and I got four layers on all these little corners um, I use six ounce six ounce woven it's just a pleasure to deal with it goes around the corners pretty easily so I'm gonna pick it up and put it out in the Sun to bake so I have access to another boat that's being cut up and held to the dump <clears throat> So I went today and I cut some of the interior closure panels and one of them is big enough for the bottom of the console box, of the T-top box. So I got it sitting up here, it sits pretty flat, smooth on the bottom. I'm going to trim it and glue it in place and after the glue dries I will bevel the edges around them off and put some glass to tie this to this. Um, but before I glue this on here I want to paint the interior of the box because it'll be hard to get to after the fact. So, getting ready to mix up some epoxy paint and make it white on the inside. Unlike um, most house paints and enamels and things, um, epoxy paint does not cure through evaporation. So, you don't have to worry about if you put it on too thick, having the surface skin over and then having the part underneath not cure well. It's going to cure. So, I tend to put it on nice and heavy in these situations because I want to cover up all my little bitty um, imperfections as much as I can. Now with the inside coated and the majority of the bottom coated except around the edges and a thick layer of epoxy glue around the perimeter I'm just setting the top in place and we'll weight it down a little bit and I'm going to get in the inside and make sure I don't have any bad um, glue runs because it'll be hard to get in there and sand them. I'm not so worried about the outside. It's all going to get grinded off. And the bottom is now one with the, with the rest of it. My epoxy set so the bottom is glued into place. But now I'm going to round it over so I can glass it. I'm going to glass the bottom to the side so make sure it doesn't ever come off. So I cut my corners off with the grinder and then did some sanding got them all rounded and got the edges clean and wiped down cut a bunch of six ounce cloth i'm gonna seal this corner up okay so the bottom's all glassed in i got lots of layers um and it's kind of dry i'm gonna do some rough sanding and coat it with the uh white epoxy sort of set up for final sanding and fairing up so yesterday after I put the last coat of glass and polyester resin I put a coat of white epoxy paint and this morning I sanded down the paint and I put a skim coat of thickened epoxy which didn't go very well it didn't want to smooth it wanted to roll up on me um, I probably put too much thicker in it but anyway when this cures and I sand it I'll have a flatter surface to work from to proceed with fairing because when you do all those layers of glass on the exterior and you want it to look good you're gonna have a lot of fairing to do because it's all kind of different levels but uh. starting my second layer of epoxy paint based filler um, this is a huge difference from the first coat it's like 90 percent flatter and it's much easier to put on now didn't put quite as much thickener in this batch and it's I can tell it's a lot easier to smooth out Just finished sanding my second layer of my thickened epoxy filler and it is coming along it's not there yet um, I'm going to switch now to the quick fair which is a store-bought filler which is also epoxy um, it dries a little quicker and it's a little easier to sand and it's getting kind of old and I don't want to throw it away so I'm going to use it up um, probably going to be at least two more layers 
before this is ready for paint. I'm beefing up the front edge of the bottom. Um, it was a little bouncy and it had a little bit of a bow to it. So I just cut another strip of uh, fiberglass and epoxied it and put it on backwards the first time because I had sanded the back edge and not the front edge. And I clamped it and I have the big board up top to give it some, uh, to straighten it out when I clamp it. And then when I remove the clamps when the glue's dry, it should stay straight and in fact it did. So an advantage of using the quick fare, it's the same day and I was able to sand it. I couldn't have done that with the thickened epoxy paint. But we're getting really close. Uh, you know, it's a little rough here, there's a little hole here, a little bit there. It's just going to take a little bit more and whatever I don't get on this next coat, I'll finish with Bondo because it won't be much. I had a spot right here where it, it was sticky, I must not have mixed it well so I just dug it all out. But, uh, Getting close, getting close. I'll mix up some more quick fare. Okay, working on the console um, door or hatch or whatever it's called. I took a, a stainless steel hinge and I put it here and I scribed this curve and I cut as much as I dared off of each end. I can't cut it perfectly or I won't have any screw holes left. If I use this plastic left over from the windscreen, I think the best way to do it would be to put the plastic behind the hinge and then that means I need to take this hinge and move it out with the thickness of this plastic so I'm gonna grab a um, an old piece of fiberglass and cut it to this arch and glue it in place and then I'll have a little fairing to do but shouldn't be too bad and then I can drill and tap these screws they'll go through uh, some substantial amount of fiberglass Got my spacer strip cut and cleaned up and the back ground back to clean glass. And I'm gonna epoxy it right there with some thickened epoxy. So that'll stop progress for a few hours for sure. I'm gonna mount my horn inside the um, T-top console. So I have to cut a weird shaped hole. So I ended up uh, cord two holes and now if I straighten these out I think it'll fit pretty well so my fiberglass scrap spacer cured the glue cured and I have screwed the top half of the hinge to it and it's pretty good shape and the bottom is gonna be a little trickier um, so this is the plexiglass cover and it's only a quarter inch thick so what do you do you can't really put a nut on the back side um, or it'll have interference so I'm gonna attempt to use these 632 stainless steels and drill and tap them into the plastic and cut them flush on the back and if that doesn't hold if they strip out I can put put them from the back and put like a little um, castle nut on the top but I don't have those kind of nuts so I'm gonna try to drill and tap it first and see if it holds. Got the right bit, bit and I got it tapped. So let's see what happens. I got it marked. I got 10 screws screwed through this scrap of plexiglass and this is how I need to cut them off. And I used 10 different holes because I figured I'm gonna melt the plexiglass at every one. But uh, we'll put this in the vise and see if I can't cut them. Shoot ya. Sometimes the stars and Jupiter just line up and everything works. Those little bitty short bolts are doing fine. I might put a drop of super glue in them in the holes before I put them together for the 
final time but uh so far so good i'm gonna have to take this off for painting i think it's ready for painting i think my final skim coat did the trick and i will need to put some sort of latch on it otherwise the wind's gonna have it flapping in the breeze so that'll be another unknown at this time but uh i like my door it works and this is just bragging i put the back end of the boat together and it looks really really good from far just don't look too close because my painting is uh, not the best but uh so i need to paint the um t-top console box and uh that'll have to be another video because this one's getting a little long